take care of the un we took care of the unsaved. There are those that are out there that are walking in what they started in a relationship with the Lord, but they have not allowing their fruit to abide within them, and they have fallen away. Uh, amen. That's known as backslidden. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is married to the backslider, and all we're going to ask for you today is to have the spirit of the prodigal son. You know the story. Uh, he, he asked his father, who was yet still alive, to give him his inheritance so that he can go forth and do whatever he wanted to do. His father relented and gave it to him. And, and the prodigal son started out and he had an entourage, a posse that went with him. And over a period of time, he spent and wasted all of his inheritance and then found himself without that posse. Mm -hmm. And then in a place that he, as a Hebrew, never, ever, ever would have been. He was, the Hebrew had this thing about cleanliness, the circumcised versus the uncircumcised. And they identified things that represented uncleanliness. Pigs, hogs, unclean, uncleanliness. He found himself working in a pigsty. <clears throat> and then he realized, he came to himself and said, My father has hired her servants that are living better than I am. So let me get, get right and go back to my father and, and, and get received back into my, my, my position with him. Well, he made his way back um, to his going to his home. And his father saw him from afar off and ran to him, y'all. And kissed him and put a and, and, and said, "This is uh, you know, put a, 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 a robe on him, put a ring on his finger, and said, this is my son.' No, he said, kill the fatty calf, for this is my son that was lost has now been found." I like this particular scripture, y'all, because it indicates something. That last thing that I said, "This is my son that was lost has now been found." God is looking for you as a backslider. He does not want that any to be lost. And the only way that you can be found is that he was looking for you. And he's looking for you right now in according to his word. So uh, come back into that right standing uh, relationship with the Lord, reconciliation with him, and be made whole again. And so that you can go ahead and fulfill your purpose. Now um, for you and those that were newly saved, you need, all of you need to be in a Bible-believing teaching church. So that you can gain the understanding that you need to have about God's word and God himself, Jesus Christ. Because the, re the revelation of God is, all, is absolutely through the Holy Spirit, but it's now contained in his word. Because uh, uh, when, when the Apostle Paul, I'm sorry, when the Apostle John um, was, 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 was uh, di uh, writing down what was dictated to him by the Holy Spirit in John 17 and John 15, the Bible was not complete. Is complete. It is complete. From Genesis to Revelation, 66 books, it is complete. It is the revelation of God himself through the person of Jesus Christ, and it, it, it has the mind of God there. Uh, you, need to, you need to get into a Bible-believing church, church so you can learn God. You can learn uh, of his word, his will, and his way um, so that you can fulfill that purpose that he has predestined for you, according to Jeremiah 1.5. And then go forth and fulfill the great commission in, in uh, Matthew 28, 19. Now, if you happen to live in the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area, southern New Jersey, southern Maryland, and the entire state of Delaware, we invite you wholeheartedly and, uh, to come down and make your way to 3101 North Market Street. West 31st Street is the side entrance to the building. The building is uh, the headquarters for the Union American Methodist Episcopal Church under the, uh, the able leadership of the presiding prelate for the first and fourth districts, Bishop Linwood Wright out the third, who graciously has allowed us to utilize this space for the seven months that we've been in existence. And we share that worship space. Uh, we share worship space with the, one of their satellite churches, New Hope UAMC, under the, uh, the able leadership of Pastor Reverend Gilbert Bruton and his quarterly conference assignee assistant, um, Reverend Marilyn Turner, their services start at 11 a.m. We start right after them. It can be as early as, well, when, early as when they're done. And we, we generally say 1 p.m., but it could be sooner. And please come and we'll be able to uh, do what God would have us to do for the responsibility of the church with his members. Amen. Which is to get you built up, get you nurtured, get you taught the word of God uh, so that you can fulfill your purpose and also fulfill the Great Commission. Amen and for the edification of the body and for the building up of the kingdom. Amen. Now, 
Uh, I'm going to leave something, some words with you, and we'll go into the benediction, and we're going to let you go. Stay hungry and thirsty for the word of God, and foremost, God himself. God's word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Study to show yourselves approved unto God. A workman need not be ashamed to rightly, rightly divide, with, rightly dividing, which means understand the word of truth, which is the Bible. God loves you, and so do we. Uh, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present your faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Thank you all for uh, being a part of uh, Sound Alarm Ministries Presents. Now a word from our sponsor, live conference call, by podcast via Spreaker.com and Facebook Go Live Video. We do this all to the glory of God. Amen, amen, amen. Now, we got something else we'd like to leave you in parting from Sound the Alarm Ministries. We do the thing in the Lord. God bless you. Bye-bye.